Hi, I'm Mary McConnell. I work in the Office of Research at Duquesne University in Foundation Relations. We're at the Undergraduate Research and Scholarship Symposium. Um, this is our fifth annual symposium and we're really excited to have such a large variety of research and scholarship this year. We went from having about 46 abstracts submitted last year to having 106 this year and over 160 participants. I'm a senior integrated marketing communications major in the McNulty School of Liberal Arts. Uh, the project that I did is on digital distraction. I'm a biochemistry major and my project deals with uh, cytochrome B6F which is found in the chloroplasts of plants. I'm a biochemistry major here at Duquesne University and for my undergraduate research I am working on bone scaffolding. I, I'm a double major of philosophy and political science. Uh, my research project was on uh, the question of what is it that we're doing when we morally deliberate. I'm a music major. A year ago, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. This year, I'm in the Harry Potter Faith and Reason class in the Honors College. I discovered that Lupin and the idea of being a werewolf actually corresponds very closely to having epilepsy. And so my project explores these connections and um, talks about the importance of understanding these diseases. We're from the School of Pharmacy. prader willi syndrome is a genetic disorder similar to autism, so it's a spectrum disorder. This syndrome is associated with hyperphagia, and these patients have an incomplete satiety, so they eat and eat and eat and never really feel full. One of the medications that we're using to help them treat their behavioral problems is antipsychotic, um, atypical antipsychotic medications. With this class of medications comes the side effect of weight gain. So we wanted to analyze the effect um, of this medication on patients with prader willi syndrome. Um, we kind of all are in the same boat, um, you know, graduating, kind of starting to interview, and you know, one of the big questions that they ask on your interview is, "What's your proudest moment?" And hands down, this was definitely our proudest moment. And you know, thanks to not only Duquesne but our professors and um, the Children's Institute is one of the sites for students in the school of pharmacy to go on rotation. And so, you know, thanks to Children's Institute as well for giving us the opportunity to go there and conduct that.